are from group 6 in this video we will explain about colors type of equivalence in translation before we start our video or our topic uh, we will introduce ourselves my name is Rudanis Mati Shalagan my academic number 20120503 I will explain slide 1 until slide Rupa saya masih loh. Uh, academic number 1812104. She will explain slide 6 until slide 11. And the last last year Ian Berutu. Uh, academic number 1812009. She will explain with the video the video she teaching the students with colors type of equivalence in translation okay we will explain first i will explain colors type of equivalence in translation one of the most prominent german scholar working in the field of translation studies in Werner color colors 19 79. Introduction into the science of translation is a detailed examination of the concept of equivalence and its link term correspondence. Mm. And then, what is translation? Translation is the communication of meaning from one language, the source, to another language, the target. Translation refers to written information, whereas interpretation refers to spoken information. Equivalence relates to equivalent items in specific text target, source text, verse, and context. The parameter is that of the source error. It's based on the resource parameter of language, while the latter can be related to constructive analysis and is based on the this short parole. Color points out that well knowledge of correspondences is indicative of competence in the foreign language it is knowledge and ability in equivalences that are indicative of competence in translation color 1979 also indicated a remarkable part of his research to the examination on the, on the relation between equivalence and correspondence distinguish five different types of equivalence according to color 1978 one denotative equivalence two connotative equivalence three text normative equivalence four pragmatic equivalence and the last formal equivalence one denotative equivalence is related to the extra linguistic circumstance conveyed by the source text or the extra linguistic content of a text. Short text and text target words refer to the same thing in the real world. Example, a rabbit, the great fire in London. Number two, fire equivalence. Related to lexical choice, especially between near synonyms. The connotative values are conveyed by the short text, the mood of verbalization. Number three, text normative equivalence is related to parallel text in the target language. It means same thing. In other words, it aims at following the norms and patterns required by, by each text or by each language. A variety of communicative situations. Example: one, dear Anne, two, faithfully yours. Next slide, explained by Rupa. Denotative equivalence, connotative equivalence, text normative equivalence. We will continue to the next types for pragmatic equivalence. Pragmatic equivalence is oriented towards the receiver 
of the text or message and tries to create a given effect on the TL receiver the same way the search language does on the search language receiver. It means, in pragmatic equivalence, gives the same effect to the target language. This resembles NIDA's dynamic equivalence. For example, it is put here. So, uh, formal equivalence is the last types. Formal equivalence is related to the verb and aesthetic of the text, including word place and the individual stylistic features of the ST. In this type, the translator can translate a sentence or phrase that contains a stylistic language into its real meaning. This is achieved by creating an analogous form in the TL using the possibilities of the target language in relation to the its form or even creating new ones. Formal equivalence used in translation of poems, song, and etc. Despite its importance in translation, Cole believes that equivalence is relative. It is determined by a series of linguistic textual and extra linguistic factors and conditions which are partly contradictory and frequently difficult to reconcile with one another. He adds that the equivalence oriented approach seems to be of little importance to historical translation studies and its use in the analysis of contemporary translation with some cases of text reproduction and text production presenting difficulties for systematization. So, for the conclusion of the five types of equivalence according to colors, having identified different types of equivalence, color 1979 goes on to argue that a hierarchy of values can be preserved in translation only if the translation comes up with a hierarchy of equivalence requirements for the target text. Although the hierarchical ordering of equivalence is open to debate, color's contribution to the field of translation studies is an acknowledge for bringing into translators. Attention various types and ways in which the then fashionable distributum of equivalence may be achieved. So, uh, it is all we can explain to you about types of equivalence according to color. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you. Good morning, students.
Correspondence and correspondence. Correspondence. Post with fill of constructive linguistic. Okay, I will make a the table linguistic constructive. Sekarang Miss mau tanya, bagaimana pengajuan 